Hmm, donuts, one of the ways to eat your waistline out of existence because they are always irresistible. Let's get started on how to make these delicious, good things. Hello, my name is Rita and I'm the cooking nurse. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these donuts. We're going to start by measuring or weighing all our ingredients. I used the scale to show you that that is what I'm using and not cups this time. And all the measurements are on the screen and I'm going to also write them in the description box to make sure to check them out so after you've measured everything and you have them steady at where you can see them we're going to put all of them into our mixing bowl and then start the, the kneading process so i break one egg into everything and then i'm just going to mix and make sure that all the ingredients are well spread or well incorporated into the flour and then go in with my lukewarm water i'm using lukewarm water because i don't want to keep this for a long time for it to catch up the heat so i'm just going to use lukewarm so it's easier for the sugar the yeast and the butter to actually melt into the whole mixture and we're good to go by the way if you haven't subscribed yet let me just take this chance to ask you to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you like it at the end of the day and also share with your friends you never know who could like this video and yeah keep your notification bell on so you're able to actually get notified whenever we upload a new video so i'm going to transfer this dough onto a clean surface and then i'm going to to knead it for about five minutes yeah Keep pulling and kneading and kneading and kneading it needs time that's why i did not need on the chopping board in fact i tried but i was like no let me just clean up this surface and work on it because i need proper donuts if they are going to slab i need to put in the work so keep kneading until it's no longer sticky or it doesn't stick on your hands or the surface itself and then we just transfer it back to the chopping board oh if you don't have any pride you can just you know roll it out from there and you're good yeah this is one of those recipes by the way your ancestors don't have any say because i mean they didn't make these things in my village growing up so there's no way my ancestors could have made this anyways so we are going to roll them out by the way this is the basic dough for all the donuts all the shapes that you want i'm just going to use a cookie cutter because i couldn't find my cup and also if you have like a donut cutter those ones that already have like a thing in the middle that cuts out that small part please go on ahead and use it but as for me i'm using a cookie cutter and then i'm going to use my finger and create the hole in the middle just try to pull it aside because remember we use this it's going to you know rise and then each one that I cut and you know create a hole in the middle, I put it on top of a small parchment paper. One because parchment paper does not stick, and yeah, but if you do not have parchment paper, you can just grease your pan so it's easy to pull it off when it's time for frying. So you're going to do all these, all that dough, and cut them into the shapes you want. You can you know google and find out what other shapes are there but this is the basic dough so we're going to put it on a tray and leave it to rest for at least 30 minutes until it has increased in size oh by the way i did also some braided donuts those were a bang but anyways up to 30 minutes and you're good so we're going to heat up some vegetable cooking oil and then we'll be start deep frying our donuts i've not baked donuts before Mm, yeah maybe i'm going to try and bake some donuts and know how they taste when baked but these ones we're just going to carry one parchment paper and put the donut into the oil the oil is not supposed to be so hot or else it's just going to you know brown outside without actually cooking inside or puffing up fully so we use very low heat and when the oil heats up so bad or so much you remove the heat and let the heat in the oil first do the magic and then put the heat back again the heat in the oil has to always be medium so you keep on flipping until your donuts are you know golden brown and some people do them like light brown but i did that yes and it did not come come out perfect they were not cooked properly in the middle so we're going to be patient keep turning until they are all brown like this 
you can make any shapes like i already said you can braid the donuts you can make the mexican donuts you can make those long ones where you fill with cream with the same same dough so remove fire and put the braided donuts and once the heat starts reducing in here because i don't have a, 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 a thermometer to measure the temperature in there so i'm just going to be using my small small brain eh? and know when the heat is too much or the oil is too much because it's going to start bubbling away and browning without actually cooking so reduce the fire and put back until your donuts have also cooked and they are brown and flaky and nice remove them from the fire i mean from the oil and let them cool down yeah but these ones the kids ate them before we could decorate them so we're going to work with these ones let them cool on a wire rack or just in a place where they can you can be patient to wait for them to cool down so about 20 minutes into we're just going to melt our chocolate which we are going to use to you know decorate them you can grate chocolate but i feel like the the reason why we want the chocolate grated or done whatever is to increase the surface area so it's easier to melt so i just go in ahead and chop mine you know like shred it with the knife and yeah transfer it into a glass bowl or any metal bowl because we are going to melt it on top of steam yeah boiling water so you'll need something that holds some heat and it won't break so we transfer it into our metal our glass box mixing bowl put it on top of water that is on fire and it's boiling so the steam hits the glass bowl and the glass bowl heats up which makes the dark chocolate melt yeah just keep on stirring and once it's all metal melted you're good just remove the fire and remove the glass all the container you use to melt your chocolate from the water top and put it aside and you start decorating your donuts also the white chocolate i cut it in the same position in the same shapes and i'm just going to do this one in the air fryer i'm just going to put it in there and melt it same style yeah i would have done that but i just want to be you know decorating this one so dip the donuts in there generously and then remove them putting back on the tray and repeat until all the donuts are covered now if you want to have colors you may have to you know color some more white chocolate and you can have uh, pink ones you can have blue ones by adding food color or maybe some other colored chocolates that you may be having in your area you can garnish how you like i'm using these thousands hundreds and thousands sprinkles there are other shapes but i do not have them but if you have them please go ahead and use those ones um this should just always work as a guide for you to be able to decorate your own things or like yeah a guide to do what you really want so the white chocolate is also out and i put it in a piping bag uh, a piping bag and i'm just going to you know go around and make some decorations simple ones uh that i can you know think of right now on these donuts so this one we're going to make a flower more like a flower more like a web yeah whichever designs you really choose pinterest is there youtube is here and yeah you're always welcome yeah 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 anyways keep decorating your donuts and when they are done leave them to cool for a while i left these ones for about 30 minutes because i decorated them and let them be there until i was done cooking dinner and then yeah it's what we had in the morning the kids enjoyed the braided ones and trust me these ones when you do them you will not be spending any more money any more money ordering donuts out that is if you're one person who loves donuts and does not love to spend money on things you can do just like myself i hope this video was nice and you liked it if you did please share it with your friends on socials and when you redo please tag me i'll be glad and if you don't follow me already on my instagram or tiktok please go ahead and do that and subscribe again thank you it's free and i'll be seeing you soon in my next videos bye